Hi, I'm Sean at Sean the Barbers, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a skin fade um, with using no numbers, just the clippers uh, and doing it all by hand. One of the reasons to do this is when you are very, very busy barbers like I am, like sometimes I don't have 45 minutes to an hour to spend on a skin fade going through a three, then a two, then a one, then back to a two, and then a half. So I just have to do it a lot faster. I have to get people in and out in 20, 25 minutes. So I'm going to show you today on how to do that. A skin fade with uh, no numbers. This is me uh, model, Elliot. Probably the first, first and last time he's ever called a model in his life. And um, yeah, let's get to it. So we're going to start off by putting a hard line in, all the way around the head, keep it nice and even, like you normally would do a skin fade, like you normally start it. Elliot has about half an inch per year. So we're going into the clip over comb bit. Hopefully you have an understanding of how to run the clippers over the comb. That's kind of all you need to start off with. Um, the trick is take your time, keep the angle of the comb always at 90 degrees, never go below or above. If you go above, you're cutting hair above that you don't wish to cut. If you go below, you're going to put lines in and they're hard to, to get rid of. So you just bear in mind that always when you pull the comb out, You've got all the hair at 90 degrees exactly. And then, so this is how I do it. I put the comb in, take a bit of the bulk out, and then I'm just softening it down, blending it down, tapering it all down. And as the, as the clippers go over the comb, the comb naturally just moves up ever so slightly, which keeps it nice and clean. But already, if I wanted to, you can see the section I've gone through. I can put the comb back in there and exactly to where I was because that's where I wanted the comb to go into. Now you can still see it's quite a heavy line at the bottom where we want to get rid of the skin fade into the taper. But let's move forward first, the same again. So I've got my guide here if you want to use that. Um, but I pull out the hair and take it 90 degrees and then soften it down with the clippers over the comb. No guards, I'm not going to use any, I'm just going to do it all by hand. Running the clippers over and then running it through. And you can already see a nice shade coming through the hair. But Elliot, he likes to keep a little bit of bulk here so he can run all that forward. So I don't want to scalp him just to blend it in. I don't want to lose the corners. I want to put um, so just keeping it nice and blended, keeping that length there, he likes to keep a bit of fullness, which is, you know, some people, they don't like to keep the fullness, which makes this haircut a bit easier to do. But the reason I chose Elliot to show you that you can keep bulk, you can do it very, very low, and still blend it down perfectly. Now the next bit is to use the corner of the cones, and then it goes in at this angle. You can't catch it at this angle because all you do at the back of any comb will flatten the hair down. So the comb has to go in at this angle. So basically, you're turning the comb into like a number two to one and a half. And then you just take the tips off. And that's, them, them little bits there is what allows you then to put on the half, flick it in, put it on the naught, and just get rid of the line altogether. 
by doing that. Without doing that, let's say I didn't, and I just carried on tapering it down, clip over the cone, see my cone is wanting to go in that angle, without me even trying. I've got too much of a weight line. So let me show you, if I try, I won't be able to knock the line out. All I'm gonna do is move the line above it, so it's just going higher. So I'm not knocking it out, I'm just moving it above the hair. So you can see it's got a nice shade there, but it hasn't got that nice shade there. So if I put it on the naught and then flip that in, one of the things you're gonna to have to learn when you try and learn this is to know where the, you've got to know exactly where the teeth are all the time. That's imperative. But if I put my comb in, I can see them hairs there that are still too long. And that's because I haven't put the comb in at this angle this is what this is the difference but as, as straight away surely you can see how much quicker it is to taper in the full skin fade without using any guards and getting exactly the same effect there's no point learning a new technique and it's worse than worse than your old technique and there's no point doing faster haircuts and losing customers. So same again. We start off on the crown, we work our way down, shaving it down nicely. And then as it gets tighter, the microphone just naturally goes in at this angle. But bear in mind, it never goes in at this angle. So I'm keeping it away from the head. Just like that comb is probably exactly the same line as my clippers are there. So it's exactly the same. And then make sure you haven't missed any. It's always good to keep checking your work, making sure. But I've knocked that line out in seconds without using any, any numbers. But at the back, same thing, exactly the same thing. So I don't want to take too much bulk out of it, but I do like the crowns a lot shorter going into a nice long fringe, which is what Elliot hopefully likes as well. So same thing, take the, just softening it down, softening it down. Just literally just clip over the comb. One of the things you can imagine while you're doing it is that you're blending it into a number two. And then the only difference is, if I, if I was blending it down to a number two rather than a skin fade, I wouldn't probably, I probably would still do that, but not as much, and not make sure that you have to do it. Because if you don't get the comb in at the right angle, so you'll see now, I've got too much bulk around here. So, blend it all down nice, perfectly. And then the comb automatically starts going in about nine, you know, 45 degrees. And then when I want to fine tune the last little bit, I turn it, it goes in straight down. But coming away from the head, it's always coming away from the head. So I'm working on these few little bits right at the very bottom, nothing more. So that doesn't take long. And then straight onto the half again, tapering it out. Now what I'm not doing, um, hopefully you'll get a great view from that angle, is I'm not rolling the clippers. There's too many people, when they roll the clippers too much like this, they wonder why the line gets more, is because the hair's coming down, it's being rolled into, so you're making a curve like that from rolling it, the hair's coming down and making a line somewhere where it goes through it. So the clippers, you have to be quite brave, and the clippers go straight up. Straight up, but pulling away. So straight up, straight up, through the hair. I'm not rolling it away, I'm going straight up, straight up, up, you know, lifting it straight. So it's coming away, but not rolling. And then always check your work, make sure you haven't missed any. And then to get rid of the, the line, same thing, but little the jabs and just slowly watch it just disappear. It'll take a, a, quite a while to learn, but once you've got this down, what a great asset to have. What a great feather in your cap.
to to be able to speed yourselves up and get things done a lot quicker. I'm, trust me, I know what it's like having 12, 13 people waiting and uh, they're getting impatient and they want to get done and uh, and, um, and the pressure that comes with it. So I'm always trying to find, not cheats, but ways to do the same thing but getting it done. So let's go through it just one more time. The cone goes in, 90 degrees, so you're pulling the hair up nice, because you're getting towards the top of the, the hair now, so you're not really cutting the sides as much. But I, I might as well, because I'm, I'm showing you how to do it fast, do all this, and then I've only got a cut through the middle here. So, and you can, you can do a lot of it before you even get there. So I'm softening it down, softening it down, keeping it going, going all the way to the bottom. That's about as far as the comb will go on its natural way without me manipulating it to go that little bit tighter. So if I carry on down, it'll just take all that out and that's as about as far as the comb will go before I manipulate the comb and get it in at, four, at 90 degrees to get rid of them, them few, which blends it all in. You can see it's matching up with the rest of the bag. And then once I've got it all matching up, you can see this, the line there, and I just knock it out. So I'm slowly, hopefully, showing you a bit more up to speed how, how you can do it quicker and quicker. So that was a little bit faster, that bit. That you get kind of getting an idea on how you can speed it up and just, if I was, you know, I'm getting towards the sort of pace that if, if um, I weren't doing the tutorial, I'd be, um, I'd be doing it at this sort of pace. And you can see how much area I'm covering rather than doing little tiny bits with the two and the one and the half. I'm covering quite a chunk of hair in one hit. So we knocked out that whole section there a lot faster. That's more up to the sort of speed. Yeah, give us a like and subscribe hope you enjoyed it hope it helps please let me know if it helps you in any way because that's the only reason i'm doing these videos next video coming out will be about cutting the top of elias hair um i see a lot of people doing that wrong they leave it too long in the crown um and then we're going to do some videos on flat tops and da's uh, all the old-fashioned styles as well as the most modern so some um mullets with skin fades and uh how to make it look more like a, a rugby sort of uh, private school sort of mullet rather than just um, the, the regular sort of mullet. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. There's going to be many, many more videos. Thanks. See you soon. Ciao.